G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring and welcome to another video. Where I am is Jardine Campsite. It's in the Margaret River region and um, I'm down with a, with, a, with a bunch of mates here camping for a few nights. Uh, I'll introduce you to them all shortly. I'll whip you around camp and, and show you how we're all set up. But basically, um, I don't do a hell of a lot in the southwest, uh, and especially in winter, but the weather was actually better down here than anywhere else. So, um, got a few days off, and I thought we'd do a little bit of full driving, uh, visit a few craft breweries, and um, all that kind of stuff around this area for a few days. So if you don't know, Margaret River is about three hours south of Perth, um, and it's probably best known for the wineries, the breweries, and the surfing. Um, but we're going to do a bit of full driving, something a little bit different. Anyway, this is Jaredine Campsite. Let me show you around quickly. So this was 15 bucks a night. Uh, we booked online. It's a deep poor campsite. And um, they actually supply firewood, which is pretty cool. We all brought our own in. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a shock. Anyway, this is me set up here. We're all swagging, except for Brad. Brad's bought his camper trailer. So on this trip, we've got Jonesy. The big Jamaican there. How you going, buddy? Yeah, good one. Craig's along with us in his 200 series. Good day, mate. Brad's here with us. You'll know Brad. Dad yeah. 4x4. This is pretty much Brad's trip. Like I said, I don't do a hell of a lot in the southwest. Sake, blame your car <laughs> yeah, I'm going to blame Brad if it all goes wrong. <laughs> so I don't do a lot around here. Brad knows this area better than me. So, yeah, you'll just have to, you'll have to let us know over the next couple of days what we're doing and where we're going because I've got no idea. Heading that way. That way, yeah. maybe that way. So are we, are we full driving between Cape Naturalist and Cape Lewin? Is that right? Yeah, we probably won't go as far south as Cape Lewin. We might yeah. go to Hamlin Bay and have a look at the stingrays. And awesome. That. But um, yeah, I can't see us going quite that far south. But yeah, I think the plan is three bears yeah. and head south from there. So So you got, yeah, three bears and Bob's track are probably the only two I know. They're the two famous ones, aren't they? They're yeah. the two popular ones. So. And then there's a few cool beaches that Brad knows how to get down to. And um, yeah, we'll probably fish. go from there. Yeah, a bit of fish if it's fish, if it's yeah. all right. Yeah. The weather's not looking too bad actually. That's um, not actually. No. I thought it'd be absolutely chucking it. Out. We should be sweet. So Brad, Brad's actually camped in the next bay. There's not a hell of a lot of room in these bays. He's brought his um, cub camper trailer along. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a few beers and get the fire lit. I think Duffy's gonna be cooking dinner for us. What's he cooking? Uh, paella. So Ooh, well, yeah, like sounds paella. pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah, Jonesy doesn't yeah. seem to. <laughs> Too confident. <laughs> Here's the other boys down here. This is Camp England, all the poms. Who we got? There's Duffy and his Ranger. He's set up in a swag as well. New 30 second awning. Oh, the new 30 second awning. Looks good, man. Very good. Same size as mine. And Gaz are there with his 200. He's got his scratchy panels on because the last time he talked about that. And Gubby, where are you set up? You with Brad? I'm over with Brad, mate. Yep. Oh, you. All right. Cool. You're over there. We'll go have a look at that in a minute as well. Oh. What's that smelly stuff? It's a uh, mold. Mold killer. It's oh, okay. Through a little bit, so 10 yeah. minutes on, wipe it off. So I may as well do it while it's set up. Very good. Mm. Smells good though. It does <laughs> smell good. Gazza, you found a site. Yes, mate. It's a good site too. Be the old mate Duffy. It is a good site. Yeah. I just said this is Camp England over here. Yeah, Camp it England, yeah. 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 It's it's a throw stones at you later. A little yeah. bit of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm happy where I am, man. Yeah, no, you, you'll be all right. This is you Olympic gold. Yeah. It's Olympic yeah. gold. <laughs> <laughs> this lover's corner is disgusting. Oh, lover's corner. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah, we found something interesting on the way down. If you watch my, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted a um, a reel about something we found on the way down here. Speaking of lover's corner, it's probably and a little very bit funny. It is very funny. Very it's, funny indeed. It's probably a little bit too rude to share on um, YouTube, but <laughs> have a look at my Instagram Four page and. Yeah, a bit rude for, for kids, but have a look at my Instagram page and you'll get a laugh out of that too, it's funny. Hey Duff, are you doing us dinner? Yeah, yeah. Paella? Yeah, chicken and chorizo paella. So Very good. In a pan, so yeah, starts nice. around. So are you just gonna cook on your two burner or are you gonna use the Barbies up there? Nah, I'm gonna use this, I've got a pan, so I've got all the ingredients pre-cooked, so I'll, I'll bring it up there under cover, a cool. bit of space. Yeah, go for it, so hopefully it'll, it'll turn out, maybe start at half four or five. Cool. Actually, I brought a drink we can uh, we can all share shortly as well. Ah, right, good. I filled my little keg up with something nice. Oh, cool. Rain. Rain, Rain yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Come down south in winter. This will be the end of it. This will be the last one. Just a shower, sun shower. Just a shower. Sun shower. Oh, you that? I was just about to light the fire as well. Yeah. There is no way it would have survived that. 
12 seconds later. No one's against some chews going on, are they? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'll fill that up when we have lunch at a brewery tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking maybe Cheeky Monkey tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. Cheeky Monkey makes some that's of the best beers. beers. Right, that, that's yeah. my favourite. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, what's in there? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right? I, um, you need a wooden spoon. Is this one yeah. atmosphere yeah. or something like that? Or? Beautiful, thank you, mate. Give us a taste sure. test there, Brad. That bit was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what are you doing for so, us, guys? So, tonight, schizophrenia, um, cocktails. Schizophrenia. So yeah, let's see how they go. Jaeger. Bit of Jaeger. Uh -huh. Oh, in that. You missed that one, Gary. Oh, I don't have enough. There's only ice in that one, Gary. It's all right for now. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Come oh, on, hands. Hands have been washed. No, they sure. haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've got any Jaeger in mine. No, no, you're good. I don't think you there. need any. No, you did, you did, you did. Quite a bar. Need a little bit of lime juice in each of them. I actually lined them up there so I know how many I've got there. Quite a bar, you'd be drop that buckle. Well, that's why I'm with a bar. <laughs> Stop it. No, Even now. It's not very good guys. for a steward, Gary. Just yeah. checking for my brother. My brother's fine. <laughs> None of this pudding oh, is going to be any good. No. This Sprite. 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 Even Cam's editing is not going to be good. Do we have anything to mix, Cam? <laughs> Gary, is that schizophrenia oh, cocktail? You want a swizzle? Yeah, but this one's date, Gary, because I know the last time you've made this, it was like five years out of date. Oh, it's not. Oh, it was. I've never made this before. No, well, dirt hard. Really? Hard. really? Another one on oh. there. I won't bring up the other one, <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. Well done, guys. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Not bad. Mm, That's very good, actually Gary. not bad at all. Yeah, actually, do you want the very shot? good, mate. Yes. No, yeah. Good time throughout the day. Weather doesn't look too bad. No, oh, he's better yesterday. All right, good. Right. Oh, mate. Even if it was light yesterday, that was. Yeah. We know you go off that that graph. This morning was sweeter. Yeah, which I reckon we've already had. That was still like, you've got to be profiting. Woo! Woke up to the sound of high-o and the smell of bacon. Oh, well done, lads. Oh, nice. You call us spoilers. Oh, it was a nice brekkie the boys put on. Anyway, we've done a quick little pack down. The swag's going to stay here. Hopefully, they don't get too wet. They should be fairly weatherproof. And Brad's going to take us um, up to Eagle Bay, bud. Uh, head, yeah, head up towards Eagle Bay. We'll go have a look at Sugarloaf Rock. Yeah. Um, and then do three bears. Very good. So, um, yeah, granted it's open. i still got a bad feeling that road's shut, but we'll find out. We'll go the back way. There's, there's another way to get. Start right. from the other end of it. Cool. See what happens. And so Three Bears is a full ride track along the coast to get to a surf spot, eh? A that's local right. break? Yeah, that's right. Made by locals a long time ago by all accounts. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm regurgitating what I've heard on other people's videos because I'm not, like I said, not that familiar down here. Mm. But Three Bears, it's because there's three breaks. That three get breaks, yeah. Smaller to more aggressive. Yeah, or... apparently so. Yeah. Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear, I'm presuming. So. Yeah. None, none of us are surfers, obviously, <laughs> but we are keen four-wheel drivers and it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's a nice track. So that's where we were going. Well, that's a bummer, but we've got our plan B now. We're going to bomb to the other end of the track, which is closer to yelling up, Brad says and uh, we'll try get on the yeah the other side of the three bears track and we should be able to come sort of back this way through the track on the coastal uh, cliff run there and should still be able to get to the three bears uh, surf spot and, and get the drone up and have a bit of a look.
So, Cam, coming up now, you'll start to see one or two. I think there's two from memory. Little turn-offs to the left, just like that one just there, I think. And it just takes you onto the, the top of the cliff down there. OK, mate, sounds good. What a spot. I don't know. That is beautiful, man. Woohoo! Yeah. Awesome. Time, Cam, we're thirsty. All right. Yeah, support local businesses. Absolutely stunning scenery. Um, boys are thirsty. It's beer time. We're going to find a brewery for lunch. I think it's probably going to be Cheeky Monkey or Colonial, but let's see what the boys decide. I'm not fussed. Both are pretty good. So that was a really nice little lunch and the beers at Cheeky Monkey are absolutely beautiful. If you ever get a chance to uh, try them, if you see them in your local bottle or whatever, give them a go, they're really nice. Anyway, we are heading back to the campsite um, and on the way, Brad's pointed to a track that sort of darts through the, through the bush and onto a local beach and he says it's worth checking out. So we're just having a quick look now. Only half of us have come out to this track. The other half have, have uh, ducked back to the campsite to get the fire going because um, we are going to need a few coals for cooking dinner tonight. Anyway, let's go. This is quite an interesting little track and uh, I'm looking forward to getting onto the beach, hopefully. Just have a look and make sure the tide's not right up against the um, dunes, but hopefully we're right. I usually get what they. Gazzard, have you had your cup? Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking. A, I'll be there in a minute, mate. He's doing his special drink for us. Okay. I'm and his nickname. Have you got a cup for he, me then? Has he told you the name of it? Oh, this one is called the Gazzard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a 
Gatti. It's oh, it's gonna be a sh drink, man. No, it's a Gatti. Yeah. It's called it's, it's the actual name of the drink. Is it it's, messed up? No, it's good. Boys have had the fire going, no, stoked up, so we can get some coals for dinner. And Duffy's doing us a drink. The Gazza. Oh, the Gazza. As long as it's not. From last time. It's, called, it's called Grumpy Old Man, so I've, I've renamed it <laughs> The Gaddy. Oh, I thought it was called yeah. Grumpy Old Man. It's called The Grumpy Old Man, so I've renamed The Gary now. Love it. Yeah. Whiskey. Cheers, Duff. Whiskey. Cheers to Gary. Ginger Whiskey. beer and uh, lemon. Oh, it's a bourbon. Is it bourbon? Yeah. Or is it a oh, salt of bourbon? Ah, smell it. Smell oh, it. yeah. Bourbon. Nice. Oh. All right, very nice. Thanks, Duff. Mm. All right, it's my job to cook tonight. And um, I, I, I don't know where I originally saw this, but. Um, it might have been Ruthie. Ruthie uh, once cooked some um, some mints or something inside a pumpkin on the campfire. Did any of you see that ever? Field Days did it just recently Ma as Matt well. Field's done. Yeah, he's done, yeah. done a fish curry, which yeah. I would have liked to have done, but I don't catch much fish. We tried. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so I, I'm, I'm going to do a curry inside a pumpkin. Um, originally, this trip was only going to be like four of us lads, and it's blown out to about seven of us. So I don't think I'm going to fit it all inside one pumpkin. Um, but I still want to give that a go. So I'll do half of it in the pumpkin and the other half I'm just probably going to do on the camp oven. Anyway, it's pretty simple. Most of the stuff's already prepped. Um, I've got some onion and some oil here to go on. I'm going to fry it all off in the camp oven first and then I'll pour it into the pumpkin so I can sear the meat and stuff. My curry paste. What's that? Matt, that's the Masri Masaman. It's upside down, but they're the little ones always used from the Asian section in Woolies or Asian uh, grocers. And then a couple of tablespoons of lemongrass, ginger, and garlic. Yeah, should be good. So I've just I've basically cut the lid off the pumpkin, so it's like a it's even got a little handle there, works quite well. And I've scooped out all the inside bits and that'll go straight in the coals. And I'll fill that full of goodness in a minute. So I've got some chunks of lamb. Ooh, that's hot. You won't need this top either, will you? It's a big mm. chunk though. Yeah. Good big chunks for a curry. Mm. Okay, good. They'll cook that nice. Yeah, it's essentially slow cooking, isn't it? So, mm. Yeah, you want to do something, mate. Yeah, sit here and look good. Yeah, we'll do. No, it was a um, it was a boneless leg uh, lamb lamb leg, and then I've cut all the sinew and the fat off and just cubed it in some big cubes. And now the liquidy stuff, so some coconut milk, just enough to cover all the meat. This is coconut milk too, but it's just in a different container. Oh, that's real thick. Fish sauce. You're quite good at that, can Yeah, <laughs> lime juice. <laughs> such strong hands. Thanks, man. Only one stronger than the other. <laughs> Why? I think because one of them is my writing hand. Oh, yeah, that'll be right. I'll go with that. Oh, a little bit of sugar hand. in there. Yeah. Alright, we'll see how much we can fit in. Well, I can you be surprised what you get in there. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Want to try that? Bourbon and coke. But that's what happened. That's oh, what we were God. eating at the time. That'd be all right, mate. All right. Cool. Sink down yeah. Right I'll start sinking as you put it on I'm going to scoop a bit more coals around the side of that, eh? Because it was still not even warm inside it yet. Uh, it's quite a thick pumpkin, so I don't know how long that'll take. Quite a while. But I reckon a couple of hours. And I'll put that on coals in another fireplace as well. Uh, we've got a cool. couple of hours to sit and watch it, mate. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll check back in a couple of hours, see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it there, mate. Yes. Yeah. Is it on the side? Is yeah, you yeah. can see it. Yes. Well, it's the side, not the bottom. It's a shame. Oh look, mate, it's, it's it's so hot. So unfortunately, that the coals have burnt through the um, pumpkin in the bottom corner, and I just noticed the liquid was starting to go lower. So I'm going to decant what's left into the camp oven, and I might even cut some of that pumpkin up and stick it in there because otherwise we're not going to be able to eat it. So it didn't quite pan out how I wanted, but it'll still taste good. All right, so all the curry's gone into the camp oven now, and I've cut up as much of that pumpkin as I could, the bits that didn't have ash on it, and I'll leave it in there for an hour or so, and then we'll be eating. So it didn't go quite to plan, but um, we will persist. Speaking of not going quite to plan, while the camera was off, Tony said, oh, it started raining. 
but no one else was getting wet. Uh, what was it, Tony? Uh, it was a bit of a, the old friendly possums baptizing me. There's one per <laughs> <laughs> There's a possum perched in the fork of the tree about 30 metres uh, above us, and it just showered straight onto him. <laughs> <laughs> but he sat there not knowing what it was. Because it it's, be, it's been rain, and yeah. I thought it starts it again. <laughs> yeah, we're actually a little, you know. we're a little concerned that it might have been a female possum on heat, <laughs> and uh, now we're concerned for his safety. We'll find out later. <laughs> Bit of a golden shower to uh, Yeah, Golden shower by a possum. Well, I'm glad you didn't put the coriander in no, this. No, i leave it for you to do, because yeah. not everyone's into it. Oh. Oh, that's, that's wicked. Seriously, it's so nice. Oh, good. It was hit and miss. It didn't end up happening in the pumpkin, did it? Do you want a fork, Beth? Yeah, there thanks, thanks, mate. Gaz, have you got, a, have you got one? Look at yeah, I've done yes. yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Oh, Let's taste it. Oh, it's got chilli in it as well. Mm. Oh, hot. Yeah, because of the temperature. Mm. All calmness is spot on. Is it nice. Right? Yeah. All right, good. Really good. Cheers. Mm. Pleasure, mate. Do you mind passing? Oh, mate. The lid for that mm. one. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it is, man. It's really flavoured. Perfect. Top job, Cam. Top job. Good. Boy, mate, seriously, this is nice, mate. Good, but. Coriander as well. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Now it's going. <laughs>